everybody, it's Nate here. I'm uh, just starting a, a day of ice fishing. Um, just want to kind of uh, give you an idea of what I what I'm doing. I'm uh, targeting panfish. Typically, what I found at uh, this spot is they don't really come in until the sun starts coming up, um, especially the yellow perch. So we're gonna find them, and uh, hopefully, I mean it's fishing, you never know, but I'm gonna keep drilling holes and uh, see if we can locate some uh, fish. The, the thing I like about this spot, you don't always catch a great uh, quantity of fish, but the fish you usually catch are, are good quality. Um, big fish, big crappie, big white perch, big yellow perch. Uh, and there's bass in here too. So uh, stay with me. I'm going to uh, keep punching some holes and see if we can find some fish. I have a uh, small black tungsten jig tipped with spikes. There is fish down there. Feels like a small one though. They're strong. This is about a nine inch perch. I'm gonna be releasing every fish I catch today. There you go. And off he goes. Well, that's a good sign. Yesterday the fish were very finicky. Today we have low pressure system coming in. Uh, it's gonna start snowing and raining tonight. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully we'll have some active fish. Got the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Biologist out here. Perfect timing. Fish are cooperating. Basically, as soon as I get it down there, I have one on. This is a little bit better. This is probably better than 10 inches. That's a nice perch. All right, you can do your thing. I'm going to release them. Okay. I just want to take a look at that. Nice perch. 286. So, what is he in inches? Oh, uh, I think. Just under 12, so yeah. 11 and a half or so. Alright, you can uh, put them down the hole for me. Thank you. Yeah, here comes one right now. Oh, they're hammering right now. As soon as it got down there, they kept, they're coming up. There we go. Boy, yesterday they weren't biting good at all. Huh. I mean, I struggled to catch 10 over 11 inches, 10 inches. Well, I only caught it, it kept eight. And I knew they were gonna bite today. We got low pressure coming in. Yeah. yeah it's a nine incher. Uh, yesterday I had a, I was jigging with a Haley jig watching the underwater camera, all of a sudden out of screen comes a freaking pickerel going wow. 100 miles an hour and goes 
Bam! That must be cool to see. and hits the jig and then you see all the, the silt on the bottom come up you know in slow wow. motion it wasn't a very big one but here we go this one will bite might be another sunfish that's a perch You're doing a lot better than the folks on the other side of the lake Wow, that is a big sunfish. I'm gonna go get my other rod. That is a huge sunfish. I mean, that's, well, I guess he's eight inches, but he's thick, strong fish.
That's a nice perch right there. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of Ice Fishing. Thanks for watching. What I took away from uh, today is uh, basically that uh, the weather patterns really uh, affect the fish. Yesterday, the fish were super finicky. Today, with low pressure, storm rolling in tonight, they were more aggressive. Uh, that's the way the book you know, tells you it's going to happen. And it feels good to be out on the ice and actually see it in practice. So I'd encourage you to get out there. Uh, don't let uh, you know, impending storms, you know, it didn't look like bad weather today and it wasn't, but there is some weather rolling in. Some of the best days of fishing we have is uh, during the, the worst weather, you know. So don't let the rain and the snow and, uh, you know, weather patterns stop you from uh, getting out there on the ice. You know, just be prepared and, uh, for whatever the elements are and get out there and have a good time. All right. See you on the next video.